It's been said that Shiva never spoke a single word until Shakti came into his life as Parvati or Sati. She not only became his wife but also his student asking questions, discussing and deliberating with him till he revealed the mysteries of life. One day she asked him, "What is love?" He looked at her and smiled. "Tell me please, what is love?" she asked, turning away to hide her blush. This is what he said. Welcome back art lovers. Ever wondered what secrets the gods are hiding? How does their love story shape the entire cosmos? We've got all the answers for you. On this auspicious day of Mahashivratri, let's unravel the love saga of the great Lord Shiva and Parvati. Shiva is mostly associated with a serpent, a necklace of skulls, a trident, and a third eye he uses for enveloping his enemies into a ball of flame. There are many different styles of pictures of Maa Parvati. Often she can be seen as the family woman with Shiva at her side and her young children Ganesha and Kartike in her lap. Other times she is in the form of Durga, dressed in red, riding a lion, her arms full of weapons. At times she is shown carrying the Trishula trident the same as Shiva. The three prongs are said to represent the three gunas or qualities: Tamas, Rajas and Sattva. After the heartbreaking loss of Sati, Shakti emerged once again, this time as the daughter of King Himavat and Queen Meena. Little did they know that their infant princess was destined for an extraordinary fate, to be the wife of Shiva. Growing up, Parvati found herself enchanted by the thought of Shiva. Her heart, destined to be entwined with his, led her to the Himalayas where she embarked on a journey of penance to win Shiva's elusive heart. However, Shiva, still immersed in the grief of losing Sati, remained unaware that Parvati was the very incarnation of his lost love. Parvati continued her severe penance for around 5000 years and had stopped eating and drinking altogether, becoming skeletal in appearance. So determined was she to be with Shiva that her penance equaled that of the Mahayogi Shiva himself. From this great penance Parvati came to remember her past life as Sati and thus realized that she was the incarnation of Shakti. The energy she created from her penance grew so strong that it reached all the way to Shiva who stirred from his meditation. Noticing Parvati he became immensely impressed by the princess and he too noticed that she was his lost wife. Under the guise of an elderly Brahmin Shiva approached Parvati and asked her Why are you performing such severe penance my dear what do you wish to obtain I am the reincarnation of goddess sati his other half we are incomplete without each other knowing that her heart was true shiva revealed himself to parvati and tearfully reunited with one another agreeing to marry On the day of her wedding Parvati awaited Shiva at her palace in the company of her family but when Shiva arrived he appeared in a terrorizing form with his body smeared in ash and snakes all around his neck and hair Upon seeing this Parvati's parents were left in shock and horror with many other members of family fainting out of pure terror In order to help her family and save Shiva from embarrassment Parvati takes the fierce form of her aspect Chandraghanta and approaches Shiva Kamli Chandragata persuades Shiva to instead take the form of a handsome prince to which Shiva obliges. The two of them have a grand wedding and remain happily together at Mount Kailash. When it comes to worshipping Adhanishwara, some worship the Shiva aspect and some worship the Shakti aspect. Shiva is viewed as the holder of power though he is a god. Shiva is Shiva or a dead body. All the power in creation, maintenance and dissolution rests with Shakti. However, the great mother does not exist without Shiva. When they become one, Ardhaneshwara becomes a being of generative and constructive force. Ardhaneshwara brings them together in perfect harmony, showing us that unity is the name of the game. If this journey resonated with you, consider hitting that subscribe button for more such stories. Until next time namaste